Roasted chicken is one of those classic recipes that everyone should know how to make, but the version I'm showing you today is probably one that you've never seen before. The version I'm making today is quite unique in that it uses an amalgamation of tried and true cooking techniques into what I consider the ultimate roasted chicken. To start, we will be spatchcocking our chicken. Spatchcocking means removing the backbone from a bird and then splaying it so it lies flat. You can do this by using heavy duty kitchen shears to snip through the backbone. Once you are snipped through, flip the bird over and press down on the breast until you hear an audible snapping of the breastbone. Spatchcocking our chicken serves two purposes. One, we can cook our bird more evenly in less time since the inside cavity will be open. And two, it allows us to brown more of the surface area of the chicken, which is what I will show you later. Next, it's time to wet brine. A wet brine is seasoning the chicken in a salty liquid, which will allow the salt to diffuse to the internal meat. Additionally, the wet brine will also dissolve protein strands into a gel, leading to better water retention while cooking, meaning we get more juicy and tender chicken. To make the wet brine in a large Dutch oven, I'm adding 10 cups of water or enough to completely submerge our chicken, one half cup of coarse salt, one third cup of sugar and two bay leaves. We will bring this mixture up to a boil and then remove it from the heat to cool completely to room temperature. Once the brine has cooled, it's ready to drop the chicken in. Time is the important factor for salt diffusion, so let the chicken brine for 12 hours in the fridge. Next up, it is time to air dry. We want the chicken to air dry with a nice spice blend in the fridge. Air drying will allow the skin to get uber crispy when we go to cook this. To start, place a wire rack on a baking sheet, pull the chicken out of the brine, and pat it completely dry. Next, we are going to evenly apply our spice rub, which does not have salt in it, because we already brine the chicken. Any liquid will run off to the baking sheet while it's in the fridge. Store in the fridge for 10 hours or overnight. Now, remove the chicken two hours prior to cooking and leave it in the oven with just the light on. This helps the chicken get closer to room temperature because a cold chicken straight from the fridge may affect even cooking. Now, it's time to brown the chicken. Browning the chicken prior to cooking will help get that skin extra crispy and start the flavor transformation. To do this, heat a cast iron pan to medium heat and drizzle in some oil. Place our spatchcock chicken breast side down for around six minutes until the skin is starting to brown. Once browned, flip the bird and immediately place into a 425 degree preheated oven. Cook the chicken for 30 minutes, rotate the pan and roast for another 20 to 30 minutes until the chicken is completely browned and crispy all over and the juices run clear when cut between the leg and thigh. Lastly, it's time to rest, the hardest part of the process. Let your chicken rest for 10 minutes prior to carving so the juices will absorb back into the chicken instead of on your cutting board. This roasted chicken takes time, but it is 100% worth it. The unparalleled juiciness you get from brining, the crispiness from allowing it to air dry in the fridge are just phenomenal. Not to mention the nice spice blend and who does not love a roasted chicken? 
So that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'm telling you, this is my absolute ultimate roasted chicken recipe. The flavors are actually insane, and it's so tender, juicy, and we get a nice, crisp crust. So if you guys have enjoyed the content and wanna see more, definitely drop me a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.